Let's go. Let's go tonight. Let's go, everybody. Let's go. Let's, Let's go, go tonight. Is that how that song goes? Let's... No, I don't know. Oh, I don't He's know. Making it up. He's making it up, man. It's Friday. I don't. Friday ain't real. Friday is like a making it up day. Making it up. Making it up. Making it up. See, I kind of like this one too. There we go. What are we on? We are on. Oh, snap. Oh, oh. snap. Oh, hi. Hey, you're there. Oh, jeez. No, I, didn't, I, I didn't see you. Sorry, sorry. I was <laughs> I was looking at other things. Okay, I, I got it. We'll get into what the subject is here in a minute. But let's okay. let's start with why it's green. Give us the story. Come on, Joe. Tell it. Tell it the way it is, Joe. You changed. Okay. Okay. No, I was I was looking at I was looking at YouTube and stuff like that, and this this one guy remarked on how, um, Joe Rogan he like he like changes up the the different colors that he uses. I actually really like the orange. I'll be honest, but he changes up he changes up the colors that he uses for like his his thumbnails and stuff, and you just did that, and I I didn't realize that you changed it to green. And why green? Yeah, uh, because it stands out apparently on the on the algorithm. Oh, it does. Like those those videos tend to do a little bit better than the ones where he uses red or so, blue. So, so Joe has decided maybe colors as opposed to content. That you know what? As far as I'm guessing, content is still a thought. He just has very <laughs> different thoughts about it. Well. We're all rats in a maze, and he's trying to get where he's going. Yeah. And you're right. The, the joy of logarithms is the metrics, and yeah, did did that. There's a place for everybody. There's a place for everybody. If I dig enough holes in my backyard. Oh, is that not? <laughs> Digging holes in your backyard. I loved Joe Rogan. I, I really Rogan. used to like Joe Rogan. I, I was a big, like, I, I never, I've never listened to the podcast recently neil young and joe were so we haven't really let me explain so what joe rogan did was he put different colors on the backgrounds of his his clips to see which ones would gain the highest traction yep now my understanding that led to my content question was that green <laughs> wins out is that correct apparently yeah but but you're saying orange is orange is much better You'd rather have orange. I agree. See, I think we should make a decision. I just like the color. That's it. <laughs> I think we should make a decision based on what we like. Just like so that we're color. us. That's all that is. Yeah, we're us. I like that we're us. I do. I like that we're us. Yeah. That it's complicated. It is complicated. Humans are complicated. We. Complicado. I don't. Don't think, think for one minute that we don't have our moments. Because we do. Our moments of what? Well, we're... we're we got to work through shit sometimes. Yes. This is true. It, it's just a reality. Sometimes we see things from different perspectives. Oh, my God. Like, where's the line? We had to work through stuff 30 minutes ago. 30 minutes ago. Yeah. Well... Well, really, like, 10 minutes ago, but, you know. I'm huge on the idea of exposure as much as I hate exposure. Mm -hmm. That I'm huge with the idea that there's <clears throat> failure and success and rise and fall and, mm -hmm. and bringing it out. You know, a show about not putting on a show. That I, I don't want to get caught up in trying, like, okay, so when I hear about the color thing, what goes through my head is, man, there's a lot of work that goes, I mean, don't get me wrong, he's got a whole stat, but there's a lot of work that goes into putting on a show, even even as crappy yeah, as there's a lot of there's a lot of simple thoughts that add up well and so what goes through my head though is if there's anything i want to do is i want people running i don't mean it okay that sounds egotistical i i want people to want to listen because they want to listen yeah i don't want to i i don't feel like there's a need to play games with their head or figure out what color i figure the goal is a message that makes them want to hear us or whatever, not message. I don't know you know, that we're interesting or that I guess, you see it. I guess I'm a bit, I'm a bit of an overthinker. So I always like, I like to, I like the game of figuring out how to maximize making the best out of what I'm making, if that makes any sense. No, and I, I think, I, totally I think sometimes, it. sometimes I can over, overanalyze. Mm-hmm. 
but I'm okay with that. Like I'm okay with I'm okay with being a little bit too analytical about things. <laughs> but, but what did you say the other day about overthinkers? And who did you realize was the biggest overthinker you'd ever met? Even though yeah. you were giving me like yes. you, everybody thinks I'm yes. gliding through, and it's like no, I don't. I don't think you're gliding through it at all. I just think like in some ways you can be very, very analytical and very, very anal about the way you're going through things. But yeah, yeah. other times you just be like chilling. Like, we're just gonna do this. Let's let's just get this done. And there's the, like I think there's a time and a place for both. You know, I've given up on the game. Uh huh. I've given up on it. Uh huh. Because those analytics drove me crazy. Right. Um. That. As much as I understand those pieces, mm -hmm. and people will go, oh, "Are you doing this or are you doing that?" Um, yeah, I do play that. I, I guess to some extent I do, but what I've tried to do it is to approach in a natural way. So, in other words, with no expectations of mm -hmm. nothing may ever come from this. The one thing I've always, but I, I have to. I've always loved numbers because they're me too. Me too. I'm I'm a number. They're guy. fairly like dependable they're logical they're fairly dependable well no they um, are like real numbers okay. yeah science works because yes. you use real information math works for the record all science is math it's a long story but somebody science with a, a doctorate in math no can someone explain. so i think my math teacher said that everything is math everything is math like that everything is pattern yeah definitely but don't expect that you can it's weird because i see all the patterns mm -hmm. I, the, the, one of the ways my mind works and never shuts up is about this is connected to this connected to that connected to the other right right so part of the part that eats at you about that side is something i had to go that's math and only logic applies and i had to move mm -hmm. all of my feelings out of it well the thing is that i guess Ooh, my broken my broken hand is hurting today when i think when i think about like the internet analytics and stuff like that i i do my head gets a little bit spinny because okay. of the fact that i'm like okay this is like mostly mumbo jumbo like traditionally this is mostly luck and there's i mean yes there's some statistical things that are involved in it and if you do these things you might get a little bit bit of a boost but at the same time a lot of this is we're working around an algorithm that we don't know because these companies don't just give out their algorithms. Well, no, so I like that's why now, admittedly, it feels like we're doing one thing right now. We have a lot of thoughts about things coming and where to put them and yes. how to be dealing with different streams of information. Yes. On the theory that you don't want to be attached to a media conglomerate that's deciding what is going out and there's lots of right. places to find it right um that takes time or i'm a lazy bum or uh but i will say this studio 586b online if you can remember that studio 586b online so that it's online. where we're online that online where studio 586b they're online what is, no what oh, is i'm the... gonna give you the okay. dot i promise okay, i'll get there there's a dot you're right okay the name of the place is Studio 586B. Got you. Dot. There was one thought. Okay. Online. Okay. It's a mess. Okay. There's We've got um, pictures up of our, you know, higher-ups from Viridian Dynamics. You you may have remembered a couple weeks ago, Viridian bought us. We're a subsidiary. Yeah. Um. So uh, we got up pictures of our producer. Um. There's a couple pictures of me and you. <laughs> oh my gosh uh actually there's just one picture of me and one picture of you now that i think about it really i used good ones though we look cute hey ladies come check out my picture <laughs> not really um it is my james bond picture though it is a good one thank uh, you david hayes my brother took that picture all of my best photos of me were taken by my brother all of yeah. them all of them not really there's a couple other people that have taken i shouldn't say that there's i've had some grand photographers in my lifetime and i <laughs> photograph well you guys don't know that there's a hole on this side. That's why we see. That's why I'm this way. That's because why because then this you way? get to see my pretty side. Okay, I know. I used to have a pretty side. Just buy into it for a minute. <laughs> so you see the pretty side <laughs> and the hat hides. See, like there's there's a bald spot. There's a thing. I can see it. I see it whenever I see right there. You can see it. So I have a hat that hides that. You know, it's funny. If I had a bald spot, I wouldn't point it out to people. 
Yeah, but I, the funny thing is, it's not really why I wear the hat. I wear the hat because it makes me feel. I safer. mean, I'll say, I'll the hat say makes that me feel I wouldn't like care. I'm... I wouldn't care if people pointed it out to me, but I wouldn't just volunteer that information. Yeah, like I don't go around being like, "Hey, I'm short." <laughs> but people kind of just point it out. Pick up as, on it, right? Yeah, they kind of just pick it out. It's like, and I'm a... like, and I'm like, oh, I never noticed. So you know? my AK. The AK. My AK. Your AK. What's your AK? I use my AK every day. Really? And that's a good day. What? Now you got to listen to the words I got to say. Sometimes I walk out in the morning and I use my AK. Suck it up hard. Feeling all the flowers. <laughs> making me tall. Walking like towers. I don't know. What? I'm, I was trying, man. So the, you know what ambient temperature is, right? Like the temperature of a room. I, I think the ambient temperature is the, the 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 standard temperature in which you're in. So oh, the ambient temperature oh, of a room uh, is the temperature of the air. Room temperature. Well, yes. When something is room temperature, that's defined that's by the, the temperature ambient of a room. temperature. Okay. Right, right, right. Okay, okay, I got it. And you've heard about amb- we deal with ambient sound all the time. Yes. You know that. Okay, so we have a lot of fish in here. Um, I'm oh, gonna... background stuff. Background got noise. It, got ambient it, got sound got is got the got background got noise. So I'm gonna hit you with my AK, bro. If if those of you are out there, you may see a, a very angry man talking about how it was a good day. He didn't have to use his AK. I'm telling you right no, now, I'm happy. I got my AK out. Ambient knowledge. Ambient knowledge. What is that? It's Break that down. Just the knowledge all around us all the time. We get so busy, we don't see it. Or we get... Here's the thing. The funny thing is, we do see it. We absorb... There's, there's constant stuff coming in all the time mm-hmm. value not value value not value we're we tend to be focused on either the past or the present and whatever's going on with us right but if you slow down yeah i have a bald spot like yeah you're short so it's 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 knowledge that's just available what you're you know what i mean it's not like oh but on top of that kind of just I know something mm-hmm. because I'm in a room and these things are happening. I can I can go this, that, the other, you know what I see, the this and the other. It's all there. All the masks, all the hats, all the mm-hmm. whatever you want, the extra cameras, the soundboard. Sometimes though, it there's all kinds of information that we're bypass that we're not taking in. That it's when you think of how to I know. Sorry, if you think about mindfulness and compassion, mm-hmm. they really exist in absorbing the information available around you. Mm-hmm. That part of really being compassionate to another person is paying attention to all the information they're giving you mm-hmm. beyond just words. Um, but I also, so we were talking earlier, ambient knowledge. You ever see that weed that's made its way up through the blacktop in the middle of the parking lot. You know, like, it's just, like, it's out there. How does that connect to ambient knowledge? Because if you take a minute to notice it, Mm -hmm. you're walking past weed, right? That's all you get out of it. Mm -hmm. Think about the idea of getting through hard times. In the middle of nowhere, growing proud, with a flower on top. (laughs) Okay, so... I just got an idea. I don't know if you're going to agree with this, but... Um, That's okay. So, to some extent, does attention span connect to compassion? Do people with shorter attention spans... No, I know. Now, I know that it's it's possible to, like, build up your attention span and to work at it and it's a thing that's changeable you can't just say hey i have a short attention span so meditation yeah i mean the the answer is okay i'm just saying are those two things connected yeah to some extent in the sense that when you think about it the whole point of meditation is learning how to focus on one thing right or not focus on anything depending on forms of meditation but that our ability to pay attention to each other, mm-hmm. realize we're in this together, for instance. Right. Um, our ability, who, the idea that no one in the world can read the room and we're really tired of this whole Cold War thing and none of our kids want to do this again. 
ambient knowledge. We all know that. Mm. It's right. We know that. Mm. That kids don't really want us to start wars or combat or not feed them or basics. Yeah, pretty much. Ambient knowledge. It's just there. Mm -hmm. Um, It's not that so many lessons are taught not by teachers Mm -hmm. or even sometimes not even by people. Mm -hmm. You know, you can learn things. You can learn things standing in the middle of a forest. How do you define the knowledge you receive when you're just surrounded by the forest? Do you know what I mean? Sometimes you, it can be really awakening. It can really be like, man, I'm in a different place. I can... It's scary. Very scary. Lions and tigers and bears? No, oh, just the woods. I don't like the woods. I love the woods. I only like it in the daytime because I know what's going well, on. And I can... Traditionally, if you go to like a park or something, yeah. you walk on paths during the daytime. You're in a very the scary park, spot. The park <laughs> at night, the park at night, though, is, is a little bit fun, though. I will say. It's a little bit fun. I like to I like to like walk around at night sometimes. You got any volume left in there? Can we hear you at all in those? those can we headphones? Can we hear me? I don't know. I don't know. Sorry, You've got I don't know. On. I don't know. You've got the headphones. I on. I could hear me pretty fine. So okay, I, thought, cool, I assumed, cool. but I I could probably sit but, a little closer. So I it was that I started. So lately, I've been doing a lot of thinking about masters and students and <clears throat> teachers and all of that kind of thing. I don't want to. I don't want to bore everybody with my particular path. It was, and I'm struck by the idea that that they all say, when the student is ready, the master appears. Okay. Now, many people take that as, when you're ready, you'll find the people that can help you and will teach you. In my head, it's more like, it's always there. You just got to pay attention. That's yeah. It. The lesson's always there. You just got to pay attention. In this, in in my head, when the student is ready, the master appears. Is we are all students. No one's a master. Learn. Right. That so you kind of already saw it the way I saw it. That wasn't even like surprising to you that that was the direction no, I was going with it. No, that wasn't surprising Be- at all. Because that's a major part of the whole master teacher conversation. Well, the thing is that sometimes, literally, I can think of a situation and I have a negative thought of it. And then the positive thought appears. And then my brain switches to the positive thought without without giving it a second thought. So my my opinion of where was this positive thought the whole time wasn't that like this new perspective just appeared. It was always there. I just didn't pay attention to it. You had all the cards. Yeah. The ambient knowledge was around. It was there. You already knew like so you already knew to think positively about it. You just didn't think positively about it. In one of the Facebook groups I'm in, sometimes people will talk about, okay, so where do I start? And I get that question. I, I totally, I'm not judging that. It totally makes sense to me because that's, th- that's the right feeling. And the answer I want to give isn't an answer that everybody, so my answer is, well, you're here and you're breathing. I have a slightly different answer. You you're already start you you are already doing this. You are on your path, whether you want whether you mm-hmm. think you are or not. Mm-hmm. Discovering it's not like where do I start? It's oh I just discovered I'm on mm-hmm. this path. Like oh okay, mm-hmm. and so, so you know some of us, some of my friends will advance like slow down. Mm-hmm. Um, my suggestion is always no breathe, giggle, realize it's silly, realize it's hard. Okay. You got to realize it's hard first. I have I have a thought. You have an answer. Okay, let's hear thought. it. So, what if You make me use my AK, aren't you? What, what if instead of building expectations? I don't think you should ever build expectations. Instead right. of building expectations, what if you tried to build passive knowledge? That's my point. But yeah, so, okay, we're on the same so, page. So, okay. So my thought is, right? Uh, I have a knowledge that this person I I know I know that this person likes music, mm-hmm. and I know that this person um, is always talking about how they don't have headphones, right? Okay. So I can extract from that. Maybe I should get this person some headphones for uh for. A, but it's a, a girl, and we all know like what you're really. No, up to. but my thought, my no, my just... thought is <laughs> no, but my thought is like, okay, exactly. Why don't you take the information you have, and try and figure out things? Just 
just just noodle with things don't don't yes. build don't build an attachment to the ideas that you're noodling on just no you can't just like put them in place and try and see see what what I, what do i have what knowledge do i have well, of the, this person that i think the difference between thoughtful and thoughtless and for the record i'm mm -hmm. separating the words mm -hmm. full of thought less of thought yes put it that way and it makes yes. you what I th so when we think of people as thoughtless, usually, mm -hmm. really, it's a perspective thing. Yes, they're lost in something else. Yes, so they, they can't not, really pay attention to the moment. But they were not full of thought. They didn't. Right. Their crime is not they didn't think of it. Their crime right. is they didn't slow down enough. Not, it's not a crime. Okay, I apologize, everybody. Mm -hmm. <sighs> not a crime. That you, I, I totally lost my thought. I felt overwhelmed by my not positive thought that's okay now. that's okay add, um, add my friend i will say that like to me okay so for for a short period of time i was really interested in sort sherlock holmes i okay. still really like sherlock holmes Love but some sherlock um one of the interesting things that i found on the internet anyways um 18 year olds should so, not be allowed on the internet <laughs> or at least not on our internet so one thing you can do is you can look around, you can look around. and just try and figure out things don't don't build an expectation around trying to figure out things what you're really building is the ability to pay attention and to identify information right you're not trying to come to conclusions you're just trying you're not... to you're trying to take the time to actually look at your surroundings and try and figure out what may be going on just from what you see so enter your world to absorb not to just respond exactly so so have the thoughts before you go into this situation with all right i'm just gonna bull in a china shop i'm just gonna run through here <laughs> well and i'll for me it's remembering sometimes well we've talked about this asking people for support and stuff mm -hmm. man that's that's one that gets you mm -hmm. Because it gets to that same kind of thing. Even even though your AK is doing good, mm -hmm. you're like going, no, man, I, I can feel people want to support me. Mm -hmm. So you feel that, man. You're taking that knowledge in. Yeah. But there's a fear of squashing the support by going, hey, and uh, I'm trying to figure out how to pay my bills, to be honest. Can you help me with that? Is well, yeah, it feels way? very yeah. <laughs> like okay, I understand that's not how that that's how nonprofit organizations work. Because you ask people for money, and you know what, all of that. I, I get that concept. That's just, what you signed up for, you know. Unfortunately. So, how do we become like so? In my head, that's like the big breakdown in communication. Usually, too, mm -hmm. is whether or not people are giving enough attention. To the actual communication. Try to pay attention to the moment. Be in the moment. And try, like, that, that's the best advice I could give to someone that's, like, saying, how do I start this path, so to speak, is try and be in the moment and just take in what's happening around you. Don't, don't try and build an expectation of what may happen in the future or what may have happened in the past. Just try and figure out what's going on right now. Be here. It's the only place you can't. Here's the funny thing. No matter where you go, there you are. That the reality is there's, there's only one place we can live as much mm -hmm. as we are worried about here and here. Mm -hmm. As much time as we spend with catastrophizing, fantasizing, expectations, regrets, all of that crap. Mm -hmm. None of it exists. Yeah. The only thing that exists. None of it all. At, at you're all. Right, you're right here. Yes. Oh, no, you're not. You're right here. Oh, no, you're not. You're right here. Oh, no, you're not. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, but yeah, I definitely think that, like, it's hard to be in the moment. To be present. Yes. But there's so much, like... I think I definitely I definitely learned that moment. I, I learned that lesson when I went to New York a little bit. Right. Because, like, New Yorkers have this different way of viewing the world. And it's it's interesting because they head like, on a swivel of assessing, like, but not interacting. They exactly, they take note of everything that's going on around you them. You have to, but they're not in it. They can't be in it. Right, because you gotta from it. you you gotta live your own life, but at the same time you gotta 
look around and see what's happening. If there's a well, crazy man down the street, you better know that he's down the street so that you know to cross the street or so that you know to not walk down there. Right. You know, like, right. you, you got to keep your life going, but at the same time, you got to take note of what's going on around you. Well, I think soaking up what's around you, the people that are around you, watching the way other people interact. I'll, I'll be honest, watching movies. Right. I, I, I am obsessed with seeing things from other people's perspective. Yes. Unfortunately, I'm also really logically gifted at arguing then the opposite side, if you will. And it can be hard for then for people to feel like they want to share those things with me. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, not on purpose. The one thing is I, I have a hard time taking stances on things just because I'm like, okay, I can, I can begin to argue something. And then as soon as I kind of sort of start to see their point, I'm like, ooh, I could be completely wrong. And now I don't want to <laughs> argue anymore because I think I might be wrong. But then, like, more thoughts come to my mind of how I might be right. It's, it's weird. Like, it, it goes back and forth between, like, questioning my value and, and questioning the actual question. Do you know what the number one thing was that we've, like, people have decided was the number one thing if we could teach kids would make the biggest difference what? how to be wrong yeah how to, it's not a battle it's you're it's not important. losing so so there isn't a right or wrong there's lesson or share lesson well there's, the thing is there's teacher student well, and it's okay to be on either side of that because everything is that i think we teach kids to be prideful when they're right and that's a problem because when you're prideful about being right you don't like when you're wrong, mm -hmm. it's hard to reconcile that. Yeah. Just because of the fact that you're so used to being right or you're so used to like I have been wrong it. so much that I'm okay with it, I guess. Not always. I try. No, but seriously. Like I find wrong to be okay. Being wrong more often is kind of good because at well, least at least then you know like there's the chance of me being wrong. So let me not put too much expectation on me being right. So I'm, I'm going to keep going with our ambient knowledge thing here. So like what you really want is a room. Like if the ambient temperature was high, it'd be warm. You want a room where the ambient knowledge is high. Yeah. So where the things you're picking up by, li by being, by listening. Yeah. That's why, they so, say, that's why they say that you want to be in rooms where people are way more amazing than you. Yeah. You never want to be the smartest person. You never want to be the smartest yeah, you person. Never, ever, ever. Yeah. That. Um, you run, when you think you're the smartest person in the room, it starts going bad because then yep. you can't listen to, you can't find the pieces that correct what you're thinking. Mm -hmm. I regularly thank people that disagree with me mm -hmm. on, um, I know, Facebook. I apologize, guys. I promise. Studio586b.online, we're working on it. You know what, we're going to, it's not that we're going to leave Facebook ever <laughs> um, until... We have to buy a house or something in the meta world, and then we're going to leave. But I'm going to go buy mine in the World of Warcraft world, being that Microsoft You're bought Blizzard. You're going to go to the world, world of oh, Warcraft man, world. man, I'm telling you, Microsoft bought Blizzard to build us our own little world. I'm very excited. <laughs> um, the reality is there's you're never in a room where you're the smartest person in the room. That That's very true. That part of the problem is Everybody, every living thing, every moment is a teachable moment. Yes. There's always something. Yeah. And every person you meet knows something you don't. Yeah. And so there, there, there's always at your disposal. Wisdom. Some type of knowledge. It, 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 there's, there's always something that you're going to learn from people that you may think that they don't know to... I don't know, a, a penny from a dime. Well, right. <laughs> like, but, but there's a story. But there's a story. There's something there. <laughs> and maybe some of learning is not always thinking you're going to learn the right thing to do. Sometimes you should listen to learn the thing not to do. <laughs> yes, definitely. Definitely. You got to pay attention. Looking at you, daughter of mine, I really was hoping that if I gave you the list of stupid things I did. <laughs> That's funny. So... Wake up, white people. Is that what you're going with on this one? What? Huh? Who? What? Why? What are you talking about? What? You talking about that show? No. I know there was a show called that. It just made Okay, I, I was going to say. But just was... tell me, it's wake up all people. 
oh man, we just want y'all to be woke. We're here today to talk uh, to you about woke, woke. Yeah. Woke. We're not going to talk about woke. What I mean really though is. I don't want you to be woke. I want you to pay attention. That's there it. we go. Pay attention. Just pay attention. That, that's the. I don't do a good job at it, so I'm not really one to judge, but it'd be nice if people paid more attention. It'd be nice if I could pay more attention, honestly. I didn't say nothing. <laughs> I might not cause so many arguments. No, no. No, okay. I might not be in so many arguments. No, no, I guess no. yeah, not not I cause. Wanna... I won't say cause. I won't say cause. I just mean I want I might not I might not put myself in so many situations where feelings are involved. I think we're human and I expect some of that. Mm-hmm. I know, okay, not expect, but okay, I've accept. I don't, you know what? And then you get into these weird words where, like, well, I can't say I expect anything, so I don't <laughs> expect anything. Yeah. Let me think now. There are no expectations, but. Well, no, it's more like if it comes, you're kind I know of dealing with it. I know we're human. Yes. I know everybody I interact with that are human, man, it's so much easier to get along with the animals. But that. Because they don't talk back. That's why. Oh, yeah, they do. Well, no, Shug does talk back. They all talk back. Yeah. Yeah, they all so have things fish. to say. Yeah, they even they all. Well, get I just attitudes. mean, I just mean that like some make more noise than others. It's it's a different thing speaking to another species. So speak. Astrid was so done with the cats. Uh -huh. I mean, with the kids that she like came and found me when I went up to the restaurant. I was like, can you lock me in my room? Because she's a room. She goes in and she's like, and I'm like, yeah, okay. <laughs> and I closed it so she could be in there and away from the kids. That's funny. That. Perspective is everything. I I can't. So in a world where part of the problem was the patterns were constant and I constantly felt overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. When it lines up and you go, okay, this is all purpose-driven. Not purpose, I don't mean that even. It's, I, I feel like there's a lot to absorb. Well, the thing is, I think to some extent, the universe is both full of patterns and patternless. Ah, the pattern of chaos. The pattern of chaos. And to some extent, if you look for patterns, you're going to find patterns. If you look for disunity and chaos, you're going to find that. Like, well, I, think, I think what you look for, you're going to find in life. What if, what if I find something in the middle? So, for me... I see connections and building blocks and ways to stack things. Uh-huh. It's one way to think of it. Well, my thought is if you look for how it's com if you look for how it's connected, you're going to see how it's connected. Oh, but yeah, if okay, you, yeah, But yeah. if you look for how it's not connected, you're going to see how it's not connected. So yeah. to some extent, I, in my head, I think it's not. Extent, okay, you're right. People, no, and that's I walk that I, I walk a middle path between those. <laughs> in in people, it's a little bit easy to see both. I think in everything, it's there's a little bit of both. Yeah, in everything, there's a little bit of both. That's why I'm saying in people, it's also like that. It's not different. It's the same. <sighs> that I like to think of it as never think that you're the sole creator of everything, anything, because you know what? The universe is going to be right there with you putting in its dollops. You know, that the reality is you're affected by things. Well, no, without the materials, you couldn't have made the thing. Right? That in the end, that as simple and as... And without the people before you, you couldn't have been made. So... You're connected. Exactly. It's whether you like it or not, you're in this universe. You're, you're a part of it. Universe. Like you're not a you're not a fifth dimensional being who just came out of nothing. Like <laughs> no offense to anybody, but so my argument someone had come to me and said, "Well, I think I'm Buddhist." Mhm. Mm and my answer is, "Well, yeah, you always were." And I laughed because in my mind, are you part of the universe? Or are you not part of the universe? Mhm. Mm Okay, ohm. Yeah, you're part of the all thing. You're part of the no thing. It's not a... I think of it more like an understanding than at all like a religion mm -hmm. for me. I, I'm not, and I'm, I don't mean that it's not for those people that it is or that it's something different or... I'm just talking about my particular path. And so I crack up. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're part of the universe. So That's an odd thing to point out, but yeah, yeah, no, you... <laughs> <laughs> So when I hear, yep, I guess I'm Buddhist, it's like, oh, yeah, 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 you know, yeah, it doesn't. And I know people that belong to lots of different faiths, mm -hmm. and I don't think wisdom has some single source by any means. I think there's 
so much out there that there's just man me and my ak life is what you make of it honestly for a little bit of perspective um there will be things that you will learn that no one else in history or in the future will ever learn you know what if you think about it like that even twins even twins are right. you know even if they, they walk live side different by, they live okay, different experience siamese twins right different perspective yeah their eyes are six inches away from each other yeah they're gonna see the world differently and this one's gonna catch that peripheral and this one's gonna catch that peripheral they're just gonna see different things just because they're just off the fact no that they're two yeah. experiences identical yes and now the trick is putting some good energy into that mm-hmm. that when we walk through our world with a sense of amazement mm-hmm. it's amazing how amazed we'll be yeah i if you know i think one of the people that really made me aware and put the bullets in my ak if you will was spending all the time walking with my grandson mm-hmm. that especially when a child first starts walking you have to really slow your pace down mm-hmm. um a they're learning how to fuck the legs are kind of short he was always really interested in everything, though. So you have to slow down and see stuff through his eyes or you're bored really quick. Well, but... Yeah. We yeah. did... We... Man, the number, he learned how to walk going around this block. And he and I, we... Hopefully spring is coming because I, I have avoided it this winter because my back hurts. But Speaking to smaller humans is almost like meditation for me sometimes. They're aware of it still. Yeah, they pay they, they pay attention to things. Well, everything is still has that that novelty new world, that new world smell. Novelty, yeah. I like the new world smell idea. New it's got world that smell. new world smell still. That's funny. But that we should all walk around with that. That that's that's mindfulness. That's well, being, I'll say I'll say being that... present is you're going. Oh wow, there's all this information coming in, and it's got value. I'm I'm amazed by what's going on around me. I will say it's hard to keep that lust for life. It's hard to keep that sometimes. Unless you're Iggy Pop. Unless you're Iggy Pop. Lust for is that, life. Is that an Iggy Pop song? There is a yes. I got a lust for life. <laughs> I got a lust for life. Or something like that. That's funny. I I was not gonna scream it the way Iggy would because <laughs> it would have been. I would have had to apologize after anybody <laughs> out there. Apologize to you is that if you watch children, what you see is anything can be anything. Mm-hmm. There are things to learn everywhere. That never changes. That ambient knowledge never goes down. It's not like, oh, oh damn, I absorbed all the knowledge in the world. It's all gone now. I'm going to need to go to another planet to absorb some more knowledge now. You know what's funny about every time they portray an immortal? Yes. Is that... You'd think they'd be smarter, for one thing. Not just that, but you'd think that they would, like, pay more attention to things. Right? Like, it seems like they've they've reached this place where they're, like, they think they've seen everything. See, every time... Yeah. Like, every single time they portray an immortal, it's like... I've seen it all. I don't want to live. I I want to I want to not not well, do this I can anymore. see him becoming and I'm nihilist. Like, I could see you becoming impossible. nihilist, but, but put I a little just, philosophy around. Right? Like <laughs> get some Nietzsche back. There needs up, to be at least one one person who's like immortal that just kind of like experiences life and just looks around everything. You would think there would you know, be You know like there should be like I don't know, a philosopher immortal or something. You know like well, Okay, so I tried to watch to balance Man, out all so the nihilists, you know? I'm, I'm going to admit to something here. I tried to watch The Hobbit. <laughs> Man, I love Lord of the Rings. I've read The Hobbit a million times. Yeah. That's not... I don't, what did they do? I don't know. Did you try and watch that one? I watched it, I think. I made it halfway through remember. the first movie. I can't remember. But anyways, so they... Speaking of things they just threw in, the brown wizard. Yeah. Who gets mentioned in passing, if I remember correct. Mm-hmm. But anyways... Yeah, he'd be the immortal. The one that's covered in bird shit and he's talking to the birds and you know what I mean? That, that he'd be but he'd be they showed Maybe. him and he's like he's, he's Maybe. lifts his hat, you know, the birds go hide underneath it and you know, one of those. Maybe it's him. I mean, I'd say Gandalf is pretty pretty look immortal, at the world so. and stuff like that. He's well, not an immortal, but he, and he gets he's pissed re- off. He's, he's constantly not very, reborn. 
That's he's he's not very like oh. Well, he got he's pissed like, off at that pop, one. Pop. He got pissed off at that one. Sauron. No, the, the 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 big animal thing when he yelled, "You shall not pass." And I think he was just yelling because it was a cave. You know, you gotta yell to get to his. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> what we take from this all? I am grateful for this apple. It has taught me much. I meditate with an apple, guys. Um, is the gratefulness and the wonder is mindfulness. It doesn't require some particular faith. Just got to pay attention, that's all. None of this is attached to anything other than wisdom found throughout the world. If it makes you feel any better, I hate paying attention. I mean, if people would slow down and decide that the other people around them matter, you'd be amazed. There's there's some really cool studies about the, out there about what happens if everybody's like Slows thinking down positive thoughts. I, it's crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, lower the crime rate by twenty percent or something. So you get three thousand people together to meditate. That's all it takes. That's funny. Science. I ain't even making that one up. Quantum physics is cool stuff. But it's Friday. It's Friday. I, it was we were a little all over the place, but you know what we were talking about. You know what? This weekend, be present in the weekend. Mm -hmm. See the people you see. You know, if you're watching a movie, watch the movie. If you're sitting, sit. If you're filling a tank, fill the tank. If you're filling the tank, fill the tank. Yes. If you're putting water in the pond, put the water in the pond. Right. Not on the floor. <laughs> the, this is the lessons from the week. Perspective. Right. You know, that this is the reality. Um, It's a mess. That's given. Right. But there's really cool stuff if you look closer. Yeah, definitely. Gotcha. I like that idea. Yes, I like that idea too. Everybody have like a killer weekend. Like not even like a slightly... Yeah, have a spectacular weekend. Have the kind of weekend that makes a difference. And by that I mean one that you remember. And part of remembering it is uh, being there. <sighs> yep.